Hello everyone, Albert here from K44 Dev Software. Welcome to another chapter of the Xmuscle System mini tutorial series. To follow the tutorials, you're gonna need Xmuscle System add-on from the Blender market. Check the link to the add-on in the video description below. I am currently using Xmuscle System 1.9.3 within Blender 2.78c, so make sure you're using the newest version of the add-on. Today you will learn how to create realistic muscles and bind them with your character. This video explains the muscle creation process from the A to the Z, including basics of texturing, muscle and body mechanics, tools and general principles. That being said, let's get started. I'll start with the simple scene, organized on the layers. Muscles have their own working layer and remember that muscles will be always created on the active layer. So let's make muscle layer the active one. Other assets are divided into character, skeleton, rig and stem layers. First of all, create a generic muscle. Give it a name, add basic muscle and enter edit mode. Press U on your keyboard, choose Smart, UV Project and uh, accept defaults. This will generate universal UV map for our muscles needed for later texturing. Now enter Texture Paint mode, add Diffuse, Color and paint the muscle the way that suits your taste. Enable smooth strokes to paint the stripes. Play with the material nodes by adding the glossy shader and bump maps created from the saturated texture we just made. This results with pretty nice looking muscles achieved with pretty simple node setup. Let's move the generic muscle aside and focus on the character. If you rigged your character with generated rigify, like I did, you should find and enable the deformation bone layer, just right here. Character itself is parented with automatic weight painting, so it may not look perfect, but anyways. Let's create pictorial muscle first. Enter the name. Switch the targeting method to auto aim. Choose armature's bone, respecting the order. First, chest bone and arm as the second one. Press add the muscle. Enable microcontroller, wireframe, and X ray. Set the muscle's position and orientation according to the skeletal reference. Keep the microcontroller close to the skin. Enter edit mode, enable proportional editing. I actually prefer uh, working with proportion editing enabled. So you can use edge loops selection with holding alt key and scaling the edge loop. Since it's done, inspect the muscle. Notice, it's already attached to the armature, but its mechanics is not working. To fix this really quick, you have to set the insertion point correctly. Such precision is not required, but for the best result, use the reliable anatomy reference. After the insertion point is set correctly, the muscle mechanics is now working while you're moving your character's arm. You have noticed very fast that created muscle is floating in not very natural way. To prevent this, X muscle system provides special pinning system that allows you to create more muscle insertion points and pin muscles in place, preventing them from flip floating. This way, their behavior is more real. With Muscle Pinning Manager provided by the add-on, it's really easy to achieve. To add pins, 
press plus sign in the muscle pin manager. This will generate pins and add them on the list. I will add three of them. This number should be good enough for pectoral muscle. Place the pins accordingly to the insertion points. This is where the skeleton reference is getting handy. Next, uh, select the muscle and enter white paint mode. Choose from the list by holding shift click, proper vertex groups, and paint them adding whites using paintbrush, short key 1 and uh, blur brush under short key 2 on your keyboard. After it's painted, use the Muscle Pin Manager to select all the pins with Select Toggle option and press Reset Selected. Check are all pins are assigned to the muscle and parent them to the armature bone with Ctrl P. This will attach all the pins to the character. looks good enough, and muscles finally react natural. And this is how you create pectoral muscle. Let's do one more muscle. Make sure auto aim is active, select armature bones, type the bicep brachii in the name field and press add basic muscle. Enable microcontroller, X-ray, adjust its orientation and add its shape. After that, set the insertion point in the right place. Let's skip addition of the pins to save some time and make use of the generic muscle instead. Select all the character's muscles. You can do this with any selection tools, or just use the Select X Musculature button and select the generic muscle as the last one, what will make it the active muscle. Press Ctrl L and choose materials. Press Ctrl L again and choose transfer UV maps. This is how you set materials and textures for all your muscles very very quickly. So far muscles are attached to the skeleton but they are still not causing the character's skin deformation. The next step is the binding muscles with the skin. Binding muscles work in a selective way, what means only selected muscles will be bound to the skin. To make sure you don't miss any muscle, use Select X Musculature for the selection. You can use it safely, even if muscles were already bound previously to the skin. Unlock the character's layer, select all your muscles and select Model as last one. This will display a new menu with Apply Muscles to Body button. Press it. After this, skin deformation is active. Play with the skin deformation tools for a second. Make some ambiguous, crazy things. Use X mirror. Notice all muscles mechanisms are mirrored including pins, preserving their properties, physics and settings. The only unwanted thing 
is the generic muscle has been mirrored, and that's because it belongs to the same X musculature. So it is recommended to use the different one for the generic muscle to prevent its mirroring and binding to the skin. Change it now. Do some undos. Repeat the mirroring. Once again, bind the muscles to the skin. The system will care the rest for you. Notice the mirror deformations, how they are symmetrized. Precision and flexibility is what makes this add-on powerful. And this is what can you make using this technique. So, that's pretty much it. You have successfully finished the X-Muscle System tutorial. This is how you create realistic muscles for your character in Blender. If you have your own workflow already, please share your knowledge and leave the comment in the comment section below. Give a thumb up if you like the video and stay with me. Hit the subscribe button for more episodes of X-Muscle System mini tutorial series. Thanks for watching and see you next time!